Uh, Keller Crest Register Holsteins is a family corporation comprising of my brother Tim and his family with Sandy and their kids and Crane and I. This farm was purchased originally around 1960 when Dad bought the farm. Tim's more or less been part of the farm for a number of years. I joined the farm in 2000 after college and working in the ag industry for about 12 years. At the age of 10 I got my first calf and I've been uh, working at this 40 years now. Then of course Sandy and I got married in 86 and 88 then we went 50-50 with my folks and then, um, then we went to cash rent then in 97 and then the fall of 99 we did our expansion and then Mark came back to the farm then and I have to really give my, my, my dad and folks credit for giving us the opportunity and when I talked about the expansion he gave me the rolling eyes and thought I was the craziest guy alive but I think in the long run he's very happy we did it too. When we did our expansion in about 2000, went from the traditional 65 cow Wisconsin herd up to the 300 cows. Cow comfort is so important to us because I mean this is the reason why we did the expansion in the first place. By concentrating on the cow comfort, you can maximize out what the animal's potential is. We're trying to do the best job possible to take care of them. Um, for two reasons, one for their health, but also for our financial health too. It goes hand in hand, you've got to take care of your cattle. And a happy cow is a healthy cow, or a healthy cow is a happy cow. The, the healthier and more comfortable the cow, the better production. It's got to start there in the calf barn, and I think once they're, once they're weaned, and it, it, they go to the heifer barn, and as they get older, it just, it, they just are better animals. We've worked closely with the University of Wisconsin over the years on probably stall dimensions and things like that. The other thing we've done, especially for like the dry cows and all, all the milk cows, is the cows are bedded with sand, but we also do have a pack mat underneath the sand. With the pack mats gives you a nice level bed, consistent bed. Kind of gives you the best of both worlds. The laminitis issues, the things we used to have, we don't have those issues anymore. Both our main barn and our fresh cow barn, we do have the high volume, low speed, big fans, but they do move a lot of air. It keeps the cows very comfortable. We do try to move animals as slow and comfortable as possible. I don't want to try to rush anything when it comes to moving the animals. When you get an animal startled and alert, they might come into parlor and hold their milk, and that's never a good thing. So by keeping them moving slow and as comfortable as possible, it does allow them to be more comfortable in the parlor and let your milk down. With farming, there's always like a nurturing side to the um, taking care of animals. Oftentimes, animals are really vulnerable, and just the unconditional attention that they get, I think it's the caring aspect and um, the quality of care that we usually address. So. I give them a lot of individual attention. Um, I. I think they, I think that that's important. I just like to give them that kind of attention. I think I'm just that kind of person. Um, and I think, again, I think it, it shows. We name 600 some animals. Every cow has a name. Every cow is a kid to us. We gotta know who they are. And we do know who they are. I always said it takes special people to work with animals like this every day of the year. I mean, I've heard many times people go, you got to milk these cows every day. I said, yes, we do. That's our job. And that's, you know, just being proud of taking care of an animal. I like to see a quiet barn, one where you're not hearing a bunch of bellering going on. Um, cows laying or chewing or cud as comfortable as can be. And that's typically what we do see. We just want people to know that the care we do put into the animals, keeping them as clean, dry, and comfortable uh, as possible. I think a lot of it too is just the fact that if we take care of our animals, they oftentimes take care of us. And um, we all work together as a family. So I think that's really important um, for people to understand in a family business. 